And greetings folks, what a gorgeous Saturday. Temperatures made leaps and strides to 60 degrees. We need rain because we are behind for the last 60 days and we are going to make that up. The departure for the month though, we are right on track for December, but remember it's still relatively early. Our temperatures got up to 60 degrees. The climate report has yet to come out, but we average 45 degrees the low of 29. So we are above that mark, but temperatures will become crashing down once we get into tomorrow. We've been in a stretch of warm weather except for Tuesday and Wednesday. 61 on Friday, 60 the high on this Saturday. The showers are to the west of the region. They will stay to the west until early tomorrow. This huge system coming at us from the south and west, the Tennessee Valley, producing widespread severe weather in Kentucky that is moving north and east. We will get clipped by the heavy rain part of this system. And here is Sunday's storm in a nutshell. And ahead of it, it's cold air with some snow in its wake. The subtropical jet stream transporting the moisture north, that is why it's warm outside. Here's our polar jet stream as this screams east, the temperatures will drop tomorrow evening. We got into the 50s to lower 60s this afternoon, and tomorrow we will see about an inch of rain, enough to lower our 60 day rainfall deficit. The winds will gust to 20 miles an hour late in the day as the front comes through. The rain will change to snow between 4 and 6 p.m. in Pocahontas County and 8 to 11 p.m. Sunday evening for the remainder of the region from Route 19 to I-64. These snowflakes will be huge the size of silver dollars and here's how much rain we are going to see out of this. Enough to break that deficit. We are looking for about an inch in Beckley a little bit over an inch in Oak Hill, a little bit less as you head into the Greenbrier Valley, about three-fourths of an inch of rain. How much snow behind it? Yeah, it's going to snow to beat the band for a short period of time, but only enough to whiten the grass for most of the region, except for the Greenbrier Valley. Just a brief period of snow that will not accumulate. You go up to 2,000 feet, Marlinton, Raynell, and also the western part of Pocahontas County, two to three inches snowshoe will get about three and a half to four inches of snow. Here's the rainmaker. You will need the umbrella on the Sunday. And then once we transition to early Monday, those snow flurries will end. We will have a quick cold snap. And guess what, folks? A dry week ahead until later in the week when the next storm system approaches. And our temperatures will also start to rebound. We will look at the next weather maker late Saturday into Sunday. That also looks like a rainmaker for us. You will feel the pressure drop over the next 24 hours into Sunday and then rebound and stabilize next week. That's the good news for arthritis sufferers is that the pressure will stay stable and we will not feel too many aches and pains in our joints. Here's your seven day forecast, the high of 48 on Sunday. Now remember, Sunday will be a day of falling temperatures. So very early in the day, it'll be in the 50s, drop into the 40s in the morning, drop into the 30s later in the day. Typical December chill on Monday with a high of 35. We are 47, seasonable on Tuesday. And then the pattern change Wednesday through Saturday as temperatures warm back up into the 50s. 45 the high on Saturday, late day rain possible, but a better chance for another soaking next Sunday. That is your complete Storm Watch 4 weather forecast.